Joy is the key. I can do it. Hey. Hi. Okay. Let's go. I'm ready. Are you? Okay. Here I go. We are here, hmm. eager to chew with you about these things that matter to you a lot. Let's get right into it. Let's just go. Let's see a video. Hello, Abraham. Hello, Esther. Hi, everyone. Abraham, my question for this broadcast is around reconciling two different ideas. I guess um, since these broadcasts started, I've really gotten into the idea of releasing resistance. And I was following the premise that everything that I want can just naturally flow in and I can naturally float up if I release resistance. And then with this new concept of marbles, and I'm loving the idea of dropping in marbles that blend with my inner being's marbles. Um, you mentioned that we never release, we never let go of any marbles. They're always all in there, um, even the ones that are out of sync with where we're going. So I'm wondering if you could speak more on that um, so I can kind of expand my thinking to include both and to keep from losing my marbles. All right, thanks. Well, you may have heard us say, we, we say it fairly often, that every thought that has ever been thought still exists. And so we're talking about, in reference to this bag of marbles, if you haven't heard us talking about the bag of marbles, we're using it as an, an analogy to help you realize that when you think a thought, you drop it in your bag of marbles. And if you continue to think that thought, that's what a belief is, a thought you continue to think, then that thought, or in this analogy, that marble, is still active and therefore has attraction power. So every thought you've ever been thought in essence, in this analogy, is in your bag. But it may or may not be active. And if it isn't active, then it isn't attractive in nature right now. But the fact that the marbles are there means that it could become active the closer you get to whatever those thoughts are. For example, have you had the experience where you haven't thought of something in a long, long while? And then someone's talking about something and in the middle of that conversation, it makes you think about that. Esther is going to visit some family this weekend and some of them she hasn't seen in a long time, some of them since she was a young girl. And so she was thinking about them and, and their parents, and she was reminiscing about the loveliness of these people. And then just now, Michelle walked down the hallway, leaving the studio uh, before the broadcast began, and she said to Esther, see you on the screen, and Esther said, see you in the funny papers, which is something that her uncle said to her often when she was a girl, and she has not had that thought in years. But because she's been thinking of these people that she's going to see in a few days, those marbles that haven't been active in a long time are now active. And so as they are now more active, now it became part of Esther's vocabulary today. It surprised Esther that that thought came. And she loved the feeling of it when the words came out of her mouth. But it's like that. You have control. You may not know it because you haven't been exercising it. But you have control over which of your dominant marbles become active. And by dominant, we mean they're in there a lot. 
maybe you were picked on as a child and so you put a lot of those victim kind of marbles in your bag well it may have been years since you felt like a victim and so those victim marbles even though there are a lot of them and since there are a lot of them we would call them dominant because maybe they were a big part of your childhood but if you didn't keep renewing them, if you didn't keep the trouble stirred up in your own mind, if you didn't keep making them, if you didn't continue to reactivate them, then you haven't been recently attracting because of them. You'll hear more about marbles as we are moving forward. And we think that answers your question as well as we can do it in a timely manner. Let's see another video. Hi Abraham, I'm here with my bag of marbles. I love the sound. Um, it's in my therapy office. I had it before. Um, and I thought about, okay, my inner being never has one of these, uh, call them black marbles. No negative marble, no negative thought. It only has these very nice, uh, colorful marbles. And I'm free to summon these black ones and to collect them i'm free to do that but i will never find resonance then and alignment um but i can do that and every black one will launch uh, a new colorful one for my inner being that's really a very um, helpful picture and i guess choosing one of the black marbles is just our human freedom to do that is it well, you're stirring up a lot of conversation about this marble analogy, and we're, and we're happy about that. So what we're saying to you is that as you move into any segment, which means the phone rings, it's a new segment. You get in your vehicle, it's a new segment. Someone walks in the room when you've been there by yourself before, it's a new segment, and so on. And so when you enter the segment, you enter with your point of attraction. That's the point of the bag of marbles. It's your vibrational point of attraction. And so does everyone else. Everyone in the world is walking around with their point of attraction. And so when you enter a segment and something that's active in your point of attraction is active, then if someone else who's in the vicinity has an active marble about the same thing you're going to have a, a, an experience a cooperative experience because the law of attraction says it must be that way so we like that you have some black marbles meaning uh, making a differentiation between the thoughts that you intend to think and and the thoughts that uh, you maybe have thought but don't want to think anymore that's you've got a mixed bag everyone's got a mixed bag of marbles but the reason we chose your video is because you made a really good point a point that we make all the time but you made it relative to the marbles you said i may for whatever reason have have cho esther has a hair blowing in her eyes i may for whatever reason have a a, a activated a an unwanted thought and when I know what I don't want, the rocket of desire about what I do want is launched. And that's what you meant by the creating of a thought that is wanted. That's what step one always does. Step one causes you to ask. And you ask for what you prefer, even if you are not using words. When someone's rude, you want nicer life experience. When you're unhappy, you want to be happier. If you don't have enough of something that's important to you, you ask for what is important to you or more of what is important to you. And so you're launching these rockets of desire. And when you do that, this is the part we liked the most about your question. Your inner being who has assembled, well, the law of attraction did the assembling, but your inner being is focused and that's why it's assembled. Your inner being has gathered cooperative components to what you desire and only to what you desire. So really, as we're moving forward, let's carry this theme forward because it'll help you. If what you understand your work to be, first, start again. If you accept that you have a bag of marbles and rather than trying too hard to calibrate or coordinate 
your bag of marbles with everybody else's, if you are instead calibrating your physical human bag of marbles with that of your inner being, that is really utilizing your guidance system effectively. And it is also the fastest way to you discovering through calibrating, through paying attention to the way you feel, the fastest way to your being in the vortex, to you being in the state of allowing, to you being allowing rather than resisting, to you feeling good rather than sad, and so forth. And so, yeah, marbles abound, points of attraction abound. Almost nobody is really paying attention to their point of attraction. But when you understand that you've got one, that the law of attraction is responding to it, and that everything that you are living is about that. Some of you, so many questions, a lot of them through video, a lot more of them through what you emailed in. So many questions about relationships. And it feels to you that if this one just hadn't left, my, my children have left home and now I'm alone. Or my mother was never good to me and now it's even worse. Or my mother is meddling with, my grand, with her grandchildren, with my children. In other words, so many relationship questions. And it is as if you think that your work for a happier life is to find a way of either getting away from all of them physically, which is very awkward and unnecessary, or making them understand what's important to you and agreeing with you and then performing things that make you happy instead of unhappy. And of course, that can never be. You're not going to convince other people, even those who love you really a lot, even those who, whose dominant marbles about you are about love can still be irritated about this or that. You can have a bag full of marbles about love and still be irritated by the behavior of someone in the moment. And guess what's your point of attraction? Your irritation in the moment. Not all the time you've loved them. It's what's active that matters. And so... We'll talk more as we move forward, but we want to get your attention and come closer to convincing you that you can, and you'll hear it as we move forward, so don't protest yet. You can, a little bit at a time, and that's enough, pick and activate marbles thoughts that when the law of attraction responds to the, your active vibration, you'll like what comes back to you. Let's see another video. Joy, joy. joy is the key. Joy is the key. Joy is the key. Joy is the key. I can do it.